Hey, it's Shay Seeking, and I'm back with this uh, part four of this whole little breakdown that I'm about to do um, on this video. Black patriarchs, if you guys want to watch this video, you can go ahead. Um, it's about the 2026 is black, black Americans versus the black immigrant. Um, we're looking at uh, this part right here. I'm just kind of like um, going with the flow when it comes to what's popping up on the screen and just trying to keep the videos down to 15 to 20 minutes a piece. So um, this situation started when the Democratic Party passed the Immigration Act of uh, 1965, allowing non-American immigrants to come to the U.S. Um, and then what was I thinking about? Uh, something was just going through my mind about King. Oh, man, y'all, I'll be going blank. Whatever the civil rights acts that he was uh, fighting for were for the rights of the uh, American Indian. Now, see, I think that's when they that was the last time for us to grab on to something that was actually if you really paid attention, you will understand who you were. See. See. Now, when people might think that they're thinking of Native Americans, but again, you got to get the two. Get the definition for both native. See what the native is. And then you look at the Aboriginal or the indigenous or original or the autochthonous ones. And you will see that one is from the earth, directly from the soil that have never not been moved or shifted. They are attached to the land because they come from the soil, the actual earth, the dirt. That's where they come from. And native is just someone that has come here and been grafted in. I try to mix up biblical terms along with uh, proper definitions, along with common sense to when I'm speaking in these terms. So, again, this is nothing new under the sun. Let's go ahead and take a look at what, 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 what we see. And in order to convince black people to support this agenda, they created what is known as the Black and Brown Alliance. Now, this video is new to me. I just ran across it today. So I might go ahead and take a peek at this Black and, Bra black and Brown Alliance. Same thing. It reminds me of the Jews, you know, the ones with the noses that they said were our friends, but then they turned against us for some reason. The same ones I told you that uh President Roosevelt saw that they were killing each other and it was the worst hood or ghetto um ever with the mobs and dead bodies and people getting stuff cut off and tortured and stuff so this this the same thing that they look at when we uh so-called killing each other in these same type of neighborhoods they found a solution for the jews that were in it with us trying to get these rights okay but as soon as they got the rights where did you end up and where did they end up and now they're running things now so if we say the Jews are running the music industry now and the Jews are the ones that own your entertainment networks now and uh, what else? They're in charge of many things, your banking systems and stuff. So what they did was now they're even climbed on top of the so-called European white folks that was here you know what I'm saying? So now they're able to see what hurts or what's been hurting us or that the things that we've been complaining about are not just things we've been complaining about, that they better wake up soon too. Because this, 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 these powers in dark places and high places, they don't care about either one of you. They don't care about either one of you. So there's no need after I just told you that in this point, after you do your own research to see what I'm saying, for anybody to be mad at any other race of people and not pay attention to what you just need to be doing if you feel compelled to do so with your people. And it does not mean you have to hate anybody else, but you can segregate or separate yourself in a different manner and still be respectful and helping to other people, but at the same time, only bucking for your own. That's where we're at now. We need to be bucking for our own right now. Or see, but it won't be white people's fault, so-called white people. It will be the people that have planned out this demise from the beginning. The people that want to keep you away from your heritage and your true 
nationality and keep you away from your land and anything of power in your land. You will never get it. As long as the same system is in power, it will never come to you. I don't give a dang on how many papers you fill out and how many things you do. There are people that have still found their nationality and went and went, did, got all these papers sent to them and sent them back and did, and they still in the same situation you in. So I say surpass all of that. Work on thine self. Get to know thine self. Do your own nationality. And once you have that in your hands, it will change your mindset. It will change your personality. It will open up some doors for you. And then you can take that and apply it to your community that you are in right now. I'm somebody that you would say, once me and my husband got to a certain level, we left certain neighborhoods and we're in a decent place right now. But even if I don't live in that place, I want to invest in that place. I want to invest in where I come from. So that's why I am working towards certain things that I'm working towards. And I would like to get something started for the children um, in those neighborhoods. So at the end of the day, I'm sorry, I, I just get a little bit heated and heightened and I forget where I was at. But they were able to do it with them. So now they're just bringing, they're bringing in another flood that they weren't supposed to bring in, which brings me to when, when a certain God in the Bible, cause I know that I'm looking at different people, different entities speaking to different people in that book. Don't matter what Christianity tried to tell me, that's not all under one thing. No. And even the God says, don't worship any other God. So there have to be other gods too, that are deceiving me. And their name ain't always Satan or Lucifer or whatever. So what I'm saying is you, you, there was, they said that they promised that he would not flood the world again. What's going on right now that I think just, this is just my tiny little personal opinion. And I'm only wanting people that, um, feel the same thing that might want to go deeper on that subject, um, to, to speak on it. If, if, if you're not there, don't, don't speak on it. I'm not saying it's hundred percent right or not, but this wall is more than what we think it is. And I'm thinking that if there's a flood coming in, they already let the flood in. And then now we want to seal up the wall. The flood already did happen. So you sneakily then already did the flood because when you look at antediluvian with the, with the, uh, definition for that is before the flood and it even goes further to say before noah's flood but the antediluvian time it says was in the 1400s or the uh uh it's the, the, okay the thing that gets me is it's giving you a date that could tie into history um that was like in the 1400s around that time somewhere but in the 1600s as well but um I think it's like 1641. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. If you stick around, you'll see some more stuff come out. But um, anyway, go. what I'm trying to tell you is that that time was before the flood and the flood was Noah's flood. And if um, you look at the meanings of some of these words, you'll find out that things like, uh, what is it? Abraham means the father of many nations. So I'm, I want to know, I'm really more interested into what to think Noah really is talking about but anyways okay so i'm just telling you that the antediluvian time was the 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 empresses and the rulers and the indians or whatever the people were when they were at their best before they sent in the floods of people so again we have this wall coming in when we're de we're dealing with a flood of another nation coming through because a lot of times when we're talking about waters in the bible they're not talking about water from the sea they're talking about people Okay, when you say, oh, I looked out and there was a sea of people. You have to understand how these people manipulate words and situations. And this is why you have to be further in tune with something higher. And it's a gift, I believe. You have to be in tune with something higher to actually see what we're really talking about. And they gave you the concordance to concord to what they want you to say in church. But if you look into dictionaries and etymologies and all these other things, and you look at your concordance as well, and what the chapter of the Bible is saying at that particular moment. And that's why I don't agree with people, unless you're trying to prove a certain fact, I don't agree with people grabbing this and that from the Bible, because we're not talking to the same people at the same time about the same damn thing. And that's why we got to get from underneath that all one nation under God, all this other stuff. It's enough. 
there's a certain God in there you're going to have to really be paying attention to catch who he's talking, when he's speaking to you. Okay? And that's why you have to know your history and that's why your history is hidden because once you start doing thorough uh, history on America, American Indians and the antediluvian, antebellum times, and you start reading that Bible, it's going to let you know that that Bible ain't as old as you think it is and it's not what you think it is. And that's actually history in that book. So, then when they say the black man, the Bible ain't the black man's book, it is. It's just you have to know how to read it because most of the stuff they got, they got it from you anyway. And what they did was put pastors and churches up to, 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 to insert and change your perception of how to read the Bible. Just like they'll tell you something like uh, a scripture, but they leave out another portion of it just to make it fit slavery or fit this whole smack in the face thing or the whole gay thing or whatever. So at the end of the day, let's keep it cool. We don't even got to go there because we're trying to bring it back to basics. Okay. So what I'm trying to tell you is the same thing that happened with those Jews. They're setting them up now. They're setting up the other nations to come in here to be over you again. So then that's another step down that you're taking. And then what's next? So this is why we have to get it together. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the, black, the black and brown alliance. Um was designed to tie the struggle of African-Americans to immigrants to supposedly fight white racism in America. And that's the thing. White racism can't do a damn thing to me. They can't. My so-called white neighbor next door to me cannot harm me or do anything to me. So why am I concerned about a comment, a snide comment that they make? And see, they're only retaliating most of the time and saying something back to you because they're tired of hearing that it's their fault. And I... Uh, I'm no coon, but I will tell you that it's not particularly their fault. It's their fault if they don't acknowledge some things, though. It's their fault that they don't do history, research on history. And when they do, they don't rear and they find out the truth. They don't really want to share that information with you. They can go digging around old bones and telling you how old they are. But don't nobody want to tell you, dang, I just found out that it was black people already here. No, 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 no. So that's the part that they're doing. That's the deceptive part. But you know what? It's hard. They're going through discernment as well. Fear. All kind of stuff. Finding out this whole thing that this guy may not be what you think it is. And he may not be coming back for fun. And he might be coming back for vengeance and all these other things. So because of what has been done to his people. So wait a minute now. There's deeper levels to all this stuff. So at the end of the day, it's really not them. It's the, it's the, what did we say? In the high places. And what they do is put you on these platforms with these people. And once they get the rights for the other people, they wipe you out because there's no such thing as black or African American people. And when you're still claiming that, you're tied to that. I mean, do you know who you are? And see, that's what I'm saying. I'm starting to learn who I am. And I can see then that there is a reason for this whole nation to be trying to take a blind eye or trying to trick me. Everybody is watching you when it comes to, we like to say, oh, they watching us. They do what we do with entertainment and with our clothes and with our rap music, everything. Okay, you could be whatever you want to be with that. But those are all their tools that they created to deceive you. So I don't even look at it like that. What I look at it is, you they've given me the opportunity to turn around and look at it in a different light and when it comes to t learning the truth about this stuff forget a forget about that forget about the music and the entertainment and stuff and that's what they try to do oh you know you can make it in america look at oprah look at obama little, 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 little. these people are all pawns they're all there to make you think that there's they're somebody fighting for you, speaking for you, looking like you, you, and they're successful, and they're doing all this stuff, but separate yourself from those people. Separate yourself. I ain't saying you can't watch movies no more. Separate. The, the industry is not what you think it is. Those people are not who you think they are, and they are not for what you think they, they are for. Get it through your head, understand it, know it, and you will start seeing things on a different level.
It's all for you. Nicholas Baca is the author of The Presumed Alliance, which documents the tension between blacks and Hispanics. He says as the Hispanic population continues to grow, this battle is going to play out in other cities around the country. Latinos are going to exert their power. And if we want to go ahead and look at this, if they saying that China already owned California, if you look at this guy right here, his name is Vaca. But if you look at him, you can't, you telling me you don't see no Asian influence in his bloodline somewhere. You don't see an Asian influence in a lot of the Hispanics or the people that are coming up over, over, the fence you don't you don't see there's there's no hatred coming out of my blood whatsoever because although all these things are on this level not one life is more important than the other our spiritual our spiritual uh development is more important than than any because we are the source we are the root we are closer to what you would call the the so-called gods that walk the earth or we are closer to the beings that were uh the original beings but we all here now just like the, the, the uh king said we all might have came in different boats but we in the same boats now or something about boats or being came a different route but we in the same boat now or whatever and the thing is that you have to see is Things like this. I told you already about the Asian influence. Um, when the the, Amer the Native Americans that they showed you in Hollywood and called them Indians or whatever, those those people have an Asian tang um, somewhere down in their bloodline as well. So if you can look at these people, you can see this. You you can see this when you're looking, and that doesn't mean anything. But I'm just trying to say, hey, what? Who's to know? Everybody's worried about China coming buying up the United States again. What? Who's to know? Just like a lot of, um, once you start looking at phenotypes and you start looking at these people, a lot of Africans have a very Asian look to them. Uh, uh, Asiatic, I don't know if that's the proper word, but I think we like to look at China and, and, and Korea or whatever, and we try to look at it like, um, you know, they're over there doing their thing or whatever. But I'm trying to tell you that the Asian influence is even rumored that they discovered America previous to the so-called European Northern African peoples um, came here. So we, I think that there's a hidden hand. Them in Russia, you, you got to look at all this stuff, how it come down and now they're messing around with this whole Maduro and this Juan, whatever his name is down there, uh, it's a lot of stuff going on and a lot of it is biblical a lot of it and, and i and i always say prophecy or plan what you know what i'm saying um is there really a such thing as prophecy um if it is why couldn't it be on a more personal level where i can prophesy about something that would be beneficial beneficial to me so a lot of the stuff is once i've seen that the bible might not be as old as they telling us things start falling into line okay and a lot of things that we think didn't happen yet already happened a lot of things that we think happened didn't happen so again sorry i don't want to get off track but look at the influence doing it in california in a significant way uh african americans are going to have to adjust to the fact that they are no longer the largest minority in the united states african americans are going to have to adjust to the fact that they are no longer the largest minority in the united states and see that's the thing and the and latinos didn't have the power so-called to um take these a lot these these alliances and these treaties and these things like this and see that's why they always need you on the treaty because you're this is your original stuff they need you on there to get it passed but you don't get to benefit you don't get to play everybody else get to play you don't get to play because as soon as you get to play it's a it's a done deal right so once again 
African Americans have been played because the Black and Brown Alliance has only helped Lat Latino immigrants. And that could be true, but I don't aim my anger towards them because they don't have any power. It's who's over them, who wanted this agenda to occur, who planned this, who wanted this flood to happen. Those are the people you need to direct your attention to. If, if my kids are starving and we're in a situation where everybody is starving, if somebody says, oh, you won the piece of bread today, come up here and get it. Do you think that I am going to take that opportunity to give the bread to another child or am I going to give it to my starving child? And if it's big enough, I could probably try to split it, but more than likely it's going to have to be amongst my own damn kids. So <laughs> do you see what I'm saying? Because I don't want you, and then say this is something that all black people are, so-called black people are in a situation where we're under attack by all the races and that we're all dying out and that person offered me that bread. Why, and everybody, the only people that I could give it to was to choose to give it to my children or another child that's of a so-called different race. Do I, am I really going to want to give that bread to the race knowing that they're, they're sitting there waiting to consume me or am I going to give it to my family? It's just a, it's just like a, you, you don't even have to ask this question because we already know what the answer would be. So these are their children. This is their seed. When they seed it with a C, uh, I think it's C E D E when they seeded the world, uh, with the, their seed, the seed of what does it say? You are, let me not go there, but cause it's going to sound like I'm, I'm bashing, but the thing is, that's just what came to my mind when I just said that the seed of Satan, I'll just say it, but Satan, like I said, if anything, you want to look through the Bible and you want to look at what happened and you want to look at the fact that the so-called gods are the ones that have killed and taken people's land and put them in slavery and did census on the people. And come on, is this jogging your memory to the real history that happened here during colonization? Uh, before colonization, B.C., after the devastation or destruction would be A.D.? What did they say? Uh, so, really. 1611 is the first Bible that they really, you know, trying to get you to read. They want you to stay in that King James version because they don't want you to get that, not the new living translation. I don't know about that one, but they don't want you with that living translation because that, mm -hmm. go ahead and check it out. Check it out. Everybody want to go ahead and reference to the King James? No, nope, I got them all, but I like to keep, when I'm looking through my King James or something else, I like to go ahead and keep my new, not my new but my living translation right there because it tell you blatantly and they have dates and everything, you know, dates that you can take and do a research on and see what happened in so-called real life on those same dates. And there's a, a, a Lord or a governor or something or a father, meaning like from the church that made some kind of statement or declaration on the same date in the same month around the same year about the same shit and you'll start really seeing some things a little bit differently. Uh, some of the Hispanics, Latinos came up to me and told me they're going to meet out in Kansas city and they're, they're going to form what's known as a national Hispanic party. And what is council of Raza, 